Hi there and welcome to the Lead Magnet Crash Course. In this little crash course, I'm going to show you how to create your very own lead magnet using articles that you have the PLR to. Now before we get started, I want to show you what a lead magnet is. Um, I've got three of my sites pulled up here. This is instantincomeplr.com. Um, from here, I'm giving away a lead magnet, 50 ways to PLR profits. Your lead magnet needs to be something that people really want and that's related to your site. Backpackbusinesslifestyle.com. Um, this is for a, um, a lead magnet where I will give them my little, little book of backpack business ideas. Um, and then finally, I am with Liz.com, and this is where I give them my ultimate list of money getting tactics. All of these lead magnets um, people truly want, they truly want to give me their email address for, uh, you got to make them want it, okay? And they're totally related. So when they hit this page, they're already interested in my topic, okay? So the first step is to um, get an idea for the lead magnet you want to create. Now I need to create one for a site I'm creating called mypassiveincomecoach.com. So I need articles on passive income. Now if you have a bunch of PLR articles already on your hard drive, then you can go through those. Uh, if you don't already have a bunch of PLR articles on your hard drive, like I do, I recommend getting a membership to Article Wings. Uh, they have the best articles around hands down and I'll put a link to them in your resource document for this class. You'll be able to find it below this video. Also, you can search for your topic plus the words uh, PLR articles on sites like JVZoo and Warrior Plus and of course Google. So I could go to Google and type in um, passive income PLR articles and search through tons of sites and find a whole bunch, okay? so is what I want to do is I need to show you my articles and I have them all pulled up here so if we look through all these these are all the articles that I have except for this that's your resource page that I'm working on um, these are all articles that I have the PLR to that's related to um, passive income okay so is what I need to do is go through these read each one and then start making an order of how I want to put these together in my lead magnet, okay? So I'm going to read through each one of these, see if there's anything I can add to them, if there's anything I can take away from them, whatever I, I want to do to edit these up and to make, them, make sure that they're really good content, okay? Then you're going to decide how they're going to be into your lead magnet. And I've already decided that. Um, I haven't gone through all of these yet, but this is basically what I'll be doing. And I'm just putting them in sequential order of the topics that I have, okay? Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to edit these up because you guys don't want to sit and watch me just read these articles and then edit them. Basically, all you're doing is making sure of what they say, make sure it's quality content, add any information or resources you can, take away anything that needs to be taken away from, and then um, we will go to the next step, which is putting this all together. All right, so I've got what I showed you guys. I've got everything listed how I want it to go in the order. So this is just the title of um, each article. And I could go in and change the titles um, also. This is going to be the sections of your lead magnet, okay? So I'm going to open up my domain name folder I have for this site. It's mypassiveincomecoach.com. I'm going to do a new folder called lead magnet and I'm going to create a new Microsoft Word document and I'm not going to name it anything yet because I'm still not real sure what I'm going to name it. This might be like you know passive income secrets for digital product creators or digital passive income, digital product passive income, I don't know yet. We'll see because we're definitely going to have to have a title for it. So the first one I'm going to use in this is passive income from active actions. Um, I took all the ones that were in Word format and I copied and pasted them into Notepad. That just removes the formatting because if you copy from um, Word to another Word document, it can mess your stuff up. Okay, so I always take them, put them in Notepad so that the formatting doesn't get messed up. All right, so passive income from active actions. Let's find it's this one right here. And the first thing I need to do is I'm gonna do this as no spacing. Go ahead and put in I always do mine in Verdana 
12 font. Just use a font that's easy to read, okay? A lot of times I'll also use um, Courier New. Actually, let's go ahead and use that one for this because that's, that's like one of my favorites. All right, so we're going to start with this one. And I usually like to do some kind of introduction. So intro or welcome. Welcome. This is where my intro will go, okay? And then I can write an intro here. And then I'm going to type in, I'm going to paste in that title. And usually when I do like a, a heading or something, I always make it bigger. So I'm going to take all of this, copy and paste. And like I said, bold. to keep them at 18 there we go so there's the first part of this now you might want to write like a little transition down here before you go to the next article which is how to make your first buck online so how to make your first buck online so I'm gonna take all of this copy and paste let's go back up here to find up oh, where's my title da, da, da. Here we go. Here it is. Bold. 18. Before long, you will have multiple passive income streams which are flowing steadily and making you financially independent. Now let's start talking about how to create your first digital product so you can start creating that first stream of passive income okay just a little transition so it doesn't just look like you know topic BAM the next topic BAM okay um, you can also go through here and like I would probably anything that's numbered or in parentheses or when you ask a question or if it's in quotes I like to either bold it italicize it just making it a little bit easier on the eyes to read so bold, bold, bold. All right, then the next one is secrets behind passive income opportunities. Actually, you know what? I messed up because this how to make your first buck online, I actually didn't want it right there. I wanted it. here sorry guys we need to now undo everything we just did I'm just gonna put in transition there so I know to come back and put a transition so secrets behind passive income opportunities we define that one there it is all right So bold transition. Let's start talking more about passive income opportunities. Secret number one, like I said, you want to go through and bold and stuff like that. Secret number two, <clears throat> secret number three. And if you start seeing like big blocks of text, you might want to go in and, and see where you can, um, like this right here, for instance, I could turn that into a different paragraph. I'm seeing some grammatic errors, responsibility. Same applies, expect to do the follow-up on the source of your passive income it keeps generating. All right, 
And of course, once you get everything in here, you'll want to go back through and just edit up a little bit. I'm not going to put you guys through me um, bolding stuff and italicizing stuff and stuff like that. Um, then I want to come here. I want to put another transition. And you might even, when you put in the word transition, you might even want to turn it red. So when you're coming back through here, you'll go, oh, transition. So the next thing on our list here is time management tips for building passive income part-time. Here's that one. Copy. Paste. And again, I'll want to come back in here and tidy this up some. Do all my bolding and all that fun stuff. I'm not going to do that to you guys right now. And tell somebody that uh, that's um, when you see the word realize with an S instead of a Z. You can always tell that's not uh, American English. That's typically uh, British English English. <laughs> it's English English. All right. So the next one here. There's a dark side to creating. So let's find that one. Oh, there it is. There's a dark side to creating Paste that one right there. Here we go. Fold eighteen. How to make your first buck online. Now we can come back to that one. How to make your first buck online. Definitely need to put a transition in there. Next one would be how to create passive income with information products. Copy, paste that. Then, how to resell ebooks to increase passive income. Again, with the transition. And then I want to <clears throat> make a conclusion, or as I call them, the passive income wrap up, a wrap up, transition. This is where I will wrap things up and just recap what's been covered. All right, so once I get that welcome message, 
um, written and I get this um, wrap up or conclusion written, um, I'll probably have anywhere, so I'm at 11 pages now, I'll probably have um, 12, 13, 14 pages at the most, okay? Um, but now is what we want to do is get a graphic for the front cover of this. I always put um, a graphic on the first page and then you also want to get a graphic depicting um, your lead magnet like I showed you at, if we go back to Instant Income PLR, um, since this is just a report we created with these articles, you'll want to get some kind of uh, report um, cover done like this, and I'll show you exactly how to do that. All right, so let's talk about how to get a graphic created um, for your um, lead magnet. So if we come over to myminisitegraphic.com, this is where I've always gotten my mini site graphics um, done. They'll do like a whole entire package for you. Um, if we go here to packages, if you just want like an ebook cover, which is, you know, just the basic package, it's only 17 bucks. So like if you wanted to get something created, like I showed you at um, instant um, income PLR, it would only be $17 for that. Now, if you come down through here, there's also some stuff um, like if you wanted, let's see, they have a group cover e-package, basic mini site. So if you wanted to get, you know, an entire mini site done, and this is, you know, I know we're just talking about lead magnets, but just for future reference here, uh, if you want to get an entire mini site done, um, like something like this. So you see how there's like a big header here and there's all of this. Of course, you'd have to put in all your other stuff, but they do complete mini site designs too. Highly recommend this site. Um, another site that you can go and find people is, of course, the Warrior Forum. If you go to Warriors for Hire and you search for, I would just search for mini site. It seems to be the least amount of words you use, the better the results you get uh, when searching the uh, Warrior Forum. So let's go here. Um, Video sales letter genius, designer needed, reviews wanted. Am I in the right forum? Wanted members looking to hire you. No, I'm not. Sorry, guys. So back to Warrior Forum. Oh, come on. That's not what I wanted either. We'll eventually get this, guys. Not wanted members looking to hire you. Warriors for hire. Search mini site. And go. Now we're cooking. All right, so this one, awesome mini site squeeze page, logo, e-cover. You would want to open up and look at these. Precision design, word by words, approved graphic design, WSO mini site. So you can look at these and go, you know, is this does, does this look good to me? If it looks good to you, like these guys, they do banners and e-covers and all kinds of stuff. You can look and see if you can find their prices or how to contact them or whatever um, the case may be, okay? Um, let's see what they're doing. Okay, yeah, so this one, you got to contact them. If we look at these other ones, some of them will put the prices right on their sites. So it looks like bronze, silver, bronze package, header footer, so it looks like blue e-cover, green e-cover, blue pa blue packages for the one who only needs a single e-cover. So for 23 bucks, you could get them to do it. Now, you definitely want to look at what people have said about them. If you come down, this guy's just posting all kinds of, of his stuff. Good Lord. It's, if you want to look for reviews of what people have said, but this guy just seems to be posting there. Oh, there's somebody. I need supervisor package for multiple design. Okay, no. We want to see if, if there's anything, any bad remarks or anything about them in here. Um, same thing with this guy. You need to look through here. Looks like he's posting a lot of his stuff too. Um, pixel design, pixel design. You want to see if anybody's said, you know, hey, they took my money, or hey, they didn't do a good job, or, you know, whatever, okay? Um, looks like there's not a whole lot of people posting 
Um, thanks, Tim, for ordering. Okay, so you would just keep going through here and looking for people to uh, to see what the reviews are. All right, so there's two places you can go. Now, I have a site that I just showed you, ReadyToGoGraphics.com, and what this is, is it's a monthly site right now. It's getting ready to be pay one payment and you get all the content, but each month um, you get different <clears throat> mini site designs. You can, you can download the PSDs and edit them and make them into anything you want. So like if we come in here, and it'll all look different. I'm in the, the middle of doing this. So month one, and like I said, pretty soon it's gonna be, you get them all. Um, but I can come in here and go, okay, is there anything in here that looks like um, it's related to what I am doing? So I'm doing a passive income one. I definitely want to find one that's related to passive income. So let's look at month two. online pro this one looks good so I'm gonna click this so click here to download I'm going to put it in my site folder my passive income lead magnet and I'm gonna click save now if you're going to use the site you've got to have um, Photoshop and you've got to have what's called actions and I'll show you what I mean here this is a great economical way to have tons of designs at your fingertips but you gotta have Photoshop and actions and I'll tell you guys where I got my actions too I'll actually put it in your resource document let me make a note here oops Let's open up notepad actions and I pay just like a monthly fee to have the most up-to-date version of Adobe Photoshop at all times um, it's like 60 bucks I'll give you guys the link to that too it's like 60 bucks a month you don't have to pay for the full thing plus you never have to pay for an upgrade you're paying monthly uh, but you never have to pay for the upgrades so I always have the, the best version and with that 60 bucks a month. And I think if you just wanted Photoshop, you could get it for 20 bucks a month. But I when I pay 60 bucks a month, then I have access to everything Adobe offers. All right, so, okay, so I got that. I'm gonna back out of all this stuff. So leave, I'll give you guys the, uh, I almost forgot to get this for you. Give you the link to that. Make note of that. All right, so here's the graphics that I just downloaded. These are big package packages, so it'll take a second. <clears throat> All right, so I want to come in here and where it says PSD, you get with these graphics, you get like the whole mini site. This is actually a really cool site, um, giving you all the graphics and everything that you want with uh, this. But if you just want to create a graphic, so I'm going to do binder, not binder 3D, because that's already the, the, the rendered version of it. All right, so now if you don't have the certain um, fonts, you can download them, but when you go to edit them, it'll just put it into a default font, okay? And then everything is over here. So like if I want to edit this whole online thing and I want to change the name of this, so I'm going to call, what am I going to call this? Um, digital product passive profits so I'm actually gonna get rid of this online and I'm gonna come here I just want it to do profit so digital products now of course that's not all gonna fit so I want to make that way smaller and 
I could also now this is under character all right for some reason it's not and guys I don't have the best Photoshop skills in the world just FYI so if I didn't want it if I wanted to do that and I just want to get rid of products let me show you what you can do so we have digital I want to make that bigger so let's do that at like 92 let's see if we can do one two digital and then come back to layers and I'm just going to duplicate layer and then I can take that layer and put it anywhere I want and digital product passive income let's go find those product and digital I'm selecting both of them. I just held down the control key and then I'm going to link them together. So when I move them, they move together. Digital product passive income. And I could do secrets on here too. I might do that. Digital product passive income. Let's see. Digital product passive income. duplicate that layer okay and I'll make this say secrets because that's a great word digital product passive income secrets now this one I don't want this huge online in that learn to create a passive income with digital products now that looks a little off so I'm going to take this down to about 41 there we go So this is what this is going to look like. This is going to be my front cover. So I'm going to do File, Save As. And I'm going to put this right in my lead magnet folder. And I'm just going to call this Report Flat. Click OK. Now I'm going to do File, Save As. And I'm going to save it as a PNG. And click Save. All right, so now I have the flat cover graphic for my lead magnet. So if we go back here to lead magnet, oh, it looks like it's still saving. There it is. So now I can come in here and just drag and drop that. Now I always put that on my first page. Of course I want to center this and then I want to make it fit the page. And it took it to the next page. That's okay. You might just have to play with it a little bit. There we go and you can make it as big or as small as you want it's uh, not wanting to there's lots of different ways to do that do this guys I'm not the best at this that's okay I just pay, oh, there's exactly what I want okay perfect so there we go it's on the front page
All right, so now I'm done. Now is what I recommend you do is, like I said, once you get this all edited, um, find some products that you can throw in here that you can throw your affiliate links in. Maybe, you know, on the last page you have um, a page called resources. Put your affiliate links on here. You want to monetize this any way you can once you get it all edited, okay? So at this point, I can click save. I can do file, save as PDF because I have the Adobe Acrobat PDF and just click save. I know I don't have this named, but I'll show you what to do in just a second. You can just rename these, okay? So here is my lead magnet, all done. Of course it's not, because I've got to go back in and edit things. Um, so I will definitely be deleting this, but you can just rename this Digital Product Passive income secrets and guys I'm horrible at names and stuff like that usually um, oh it's still open in a new window close there we go try again um, usually is what I do is um, go over to places like Clickbank or JBZoo and look for product names and get ideas from product names okay now to create the actual report cover where it looks like an actual report you have to have actions and these are, you'll see in just a second, these are the steps that it takes to turn this into that report, okay? So I'm just going to click step one and play. And each action is different, okay? Where I got mine from, photoshopactionscript.com. I'll give you guys a link to that. be awesome if you bought it through my affiliate link. <laughs> so what I want to do here is I want to see how big this is. So image, image size is 1890. So I'm going to copy 1890 and then it's 2598. So image, image size, untick this, and I'm going to put 2598 in here. Now I make mine a little bit bigger just because if you don't sometimes it'll show this red. So I'm going to just bump this to 1900 and then if you add 10 to this that would make it 2608 okay so it's gonna make it a touch bigger and this is a really large graphic file so it's taking it a minute here all right so now I want to do file save as PNG and you can save over this, that's fine. Click OK. Now, you can get rid of this PSD. It says it'll go away after it's done saving. Everything's still trying to save. So give it a moment. Or a couple of them. Come on, thing. Yes. All right. So now, I'm going to grab this, pull it into Photoshop drag it onto here and cover up all the red. Now leave this open. Now I'm just going to click step two and play. Now this takes a few minutes but I want to show you guys what it's doing. If you look over I can't move my mouse or anything do not do anything on your computer while it's doing this okay. Um, but if you look over in the right hand corner see how it's like flipping through things these are all the steps that it takes to turn a flat image into um, a report um, image, okay? So it's already doing its thing. It's just automatically doing it. It's kind of like macros. Um, you can get these pretty cheap. There's all kinds of different ones that you can get. And like I said, all of them work different ways. I'm just showing you what I'm working with. But it does take a few minutes for it to do all of its thing. And then once it's done, we can save it. It's almost done now, hopefully. And I'll show you guys how I save all this. Perfect. Done. Action script done. Stop. Now, I'm going to drag this off of here. And I want to get rid of this, but I do not want to save over that action script. Okay? I can get rid of this PNG now. And what I have here 
is my report cover. Now I can get rid of the background if I want, and you definitely want to because most of the time you're not going to be putting them on a white background, and if you leave it on that white background, it'll show, okay? And then I also always take the shadowing off because, again, that's going to keep that white background and the reflection. Take all that off. Then I take the background off. I crop the image out. And I'm going to do File, Save As, and I'm going to call this Report Cover because this is now done. Okay. Now I can make this any size I want and I can save it. Um, I would definitely save it as a PNG. A PNG leaves the um, transparent background. So if I wanted this image size, make sure you tick that back so it, it keeps the aspect ratio. Let's say I want this at 458. Click OK. Now it's not at 100%. This is how big that is. So maybe I want it a little bit smaller. So image, image size. Let's take it down to 358. So let's say this is the exact size I wanted. File, save as, report cover, and I'm going to do it as a PNG. Click save. Click OK. Now, I have made this small, smaller. If I don't want it to be that small, when I save it, and I usually have to save it at the biggest, so I'm going to do file, save, I can now get rid of that. And if I if I need this smaller or or you know bigger than this, I can just reopen that report cover. And now it's only showing it at like 16%. And I can make my image size any size that I want. So that's how um, you find a graphic for your lead magnet. You can either outsource it outsource it and get it done or you can go to ready to go graphics.com like I showed you get your lifetime membership you'll have access to tons um, actually 12 months of uh, all these different uh, covers and like I said each comes with a mini site too um, if you have a little bit of Photoshop skills and you have some actions you can do all kinds of cool stuff Okay, so there you go. Now you can create all kinds of lead magnets for yourself or for clients using nothing but PLR content. Um, I need to take this now and turn it into a PDF and then I can upload it to my site since I got it all saved and everything. So if we go save as PDF, just like I did before. For some reason it's having a little trouble, there we go. So this will save, I'll have my PDF, my graphics already in it. If I want to take and put the uh, report cover graphic on my website, I can now. I'm ready to go. Now, as I said, the best place around to get PLR articles is Article Wings. Uh, it's hands down the highest quality PLR articles you can get your hands on. You can check that out in the resources document that came with this video. It's probably right below this video. Uh, if you have any comments or questions about this tactic, come on over to the PLR Mastermind group on Facebook at myplrmastermind.com and I'll be more than happy to help you out. See you in the next tutorial.